here's the message that I want to send. Uh, I think we shouldn't dramatize too much. 80% of Greeks want to stay in the Eurozone, and Syriza, and I don't mind talking about Syriza, has said repeatedly that they want Greece to stay in the Eurozone. So although I'm not going to pretend that I don't know what is happening and that things are not tense, they are not dramatic to the point that you're describing them. Uh, and we have to wait and see. Until we have the election results, it's very difficult to make predictions. These are very complex scenarios. But here's the message. I really think that Greece is going to stay in the Eurozone. But I'm not going to say that there aren't any scenarios where Greece could leave. Of course, there are extreme scenarios that I'm not going to speculate about. They are very difficult to predict, uh, but I think this is the balance that we have to keep in mind. So far, the process is under control. We can reach an agreement, uh, but of course, there are scenarios where things could get out of control. I'm not going to hide that. Well, and the question then is, what would the knock-on effect for a country like Portugal, still economically very fragile, what would the knock-on effect for Portugal be if post-election, Greece, for one reason or another, is heading for that exit door? I think the effect for the Eurozone would be, um, of course, negative, uh, unpredictable to some extent. I am confident that Portugal has now overcome the most difficult moments. We see evidence of that every day. We see the evidence in our yields. We see evidence of the spread that we pay. Uh, compared to, uh, to German bonds. We see that, for example, in the stability of our financial system. Just went through a very rocky period and came out uh, uh, so far looking, looking very, very stable. Uh, and so we're confident that the worst days are over and the resilience of the Portuguese economy will show if necessary. But of course, I certainly hope it's not necessary for that resilience to, to show uh, within the next month or two.